Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the news update here on Buzz of the Player. Uh, I was actually going to do this video outside today, but believe it or not, it's raining. Uh, we haven't had the rain that we've been expecting. It's right now, it should be in the, in the real depths of the uh, rainy season, uh, but we just haven't had it. It hasn't been happening, so uh, I don't know what's going on with the climate. I'm not into all that climate change and all the stuff that people are going about. It's the world's changing and all the rest of it, uh, but right now, uh, we have got a bit of rain, so at least at least the plants are having a bit of water today. So, uh, But it doesn't matter. Even if you are coming out, don't worry, guys. It doesn't rain inside the bars. It's not a problem. So still come out. You're going to have a great time. All right, so uh, I've been out and about around the uh, the area, just having a look and see what's going on. I was walking down Soy Diana, and I'll come to this bit in a second. I was going to go and get some food. And I noticed that there's a whole block or a space, and I can't for the love of God rem remember what was there, but it's gone totally totally gone uh, i don't know what they're going to put in this place whether it's going to be a condo or a, another hotel or maybe to be a bar complex or maybe a shop complex uh, i really don't know but it's gone so uh if you know what was there before and let me know guys because for the love of me i can't actually remember what it was and it seems to have just disappeared overnight i mean i ride around the city quite a lot but uh, obviously i don't go up and down every single soy but i haven't i haven't I've been down there like recently and suddenly just bang and it's gone. I was like, wow, what's going to be there? So I don't know. Watch this space. And talking to things of watching, uh, recently the Sanctuary of Truth. Now, guys, if you haven't been out here, uh, sorry, if you've been out and you haven't been to the Sanctuary of Truth, you've got to go, guys. Take, take, a, you know, take the missus with you or whoever, but go out and experience this place because it really is phenomenal. It's a fantastic and, and just it's just mind-blowing how they put it together. Uh, it's called the Sanctuary of Truth. It's over in Naklua. It's up in the far end of Naklua. Uh, but if you go over there, honestly, you'll have a fantastic. And they've opened it up in the evenings. So you can go to a night tour. And as you've seen, you know, it really is spectacular. It's breathtaking and uh, well, well worth a visit if you're coming out here. A lot of people come out here and they don't explore. And I don't get it. You know, they, they kind of come out here. They stay in their, in their hotel and they go around the bar complexes. And that's all they do. Guys, there's so much more to this city. There really, really is. And... I'm guilty in terms of the fact that obviously right now I'm in the buzzing lounge a lot, so my my uh, availability to go out and do other videos has been limited. However, that is going to change at the end of this month. I'm going to go out and bring some much more stuff to the channel than the walkabouts and all those things. I'm going to do a lot more. So bear with me. Uh, but if you are coming out, guys, please have a have a look around. Check this city out. There's so much to see and do here that often gets overlooked. And uh, I tell you what, let's throw it back out to the audience, guys. Drop down below, where is your one go-to place that you think, do you know what, you've got to go there if you come to this city. And please, let's not go down the bar for the go goes. Let's keep it realistic about the, the tourist attractions, places to go and visit that you've been to that you thought, do you know what, that was fantastic and I would recommend other people going. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, I was going down uh, Soy Diana. I wanted to go to the Nest. Uh, it used to be called the Robin's Nest, now it's called the Nest. I'm not quite sure what went on there, but anyway, the point being is it's a really, really nice restaurant. The food is is very, very good. It's extremely well priced. It's good value, and you get a decent sized portion. And the menu, the, there's a comprehensive menu. You really can get a lot there. Uh, it caters for all kinds of tastes. The nice thing about it is they've got an outside front where you can sit down and you can people watch and just enjoy your food. And, and they've got sports TVs there so you can watch what's going on. There really is plenty to, to uh, offer on that place there in the nest. So if you are in that, that area, uh, pop in, pop in, go and get your food. Honestly, you won't be disappointed. Disappointments. Um, I'm going to be up front with you guys. You know, I always say, come out here, you're going to have a fantastic time. And you will. I'm not going to backtrack on that. You will have a great time. However, I went out, uh, I've been out, you know, some of the guys uh, here from the admin team on Discord, they're out here visiting, they're on their holidays, so we're spending time going out in the evenings together. And we went around Soy Bacow. And the Soy Bacow area, right now, as it stands, if you go out now, you are going to be a handful of guys in a sea, an ocean of women and bars. There's plenty available here, but... If you're looking for that kind of like real hustle bustle environment where there's lots of people moving around and the vibe's really high end, you're not going to get it right now, guys. Now, having said that, we are getting busier and busier. It's noticeable now, even though in the videos it looks quiet, which it is, it's still getting better. It is moving in the right direction. So please don't lose faith and think, oh, that's it. I'm not going to go there again. It is slowly coming back. But if you're looking for that real hustle bustle, the vibe where you go in a bar and it's packed, 
and you know there's not not seats available, all that kind of stuff. If that's what you're looking for right now, isn't the prime time to come out. If, however, you're looking to come out here and have a great time and you don't want that side of things, you're more than happy to walk into a bar. Maybe you'll be the center of attention because you might be the only customer or customers might be very few. Then it's a great time. You know, it really is. We went all the way around Soy Bacow and uh, we went up uh, Soy, uh, Soy Chaipun, which is where we are in the buzzing now, Soy Pothole. We went all around uh, Soy Diana, uh, Soy Lenki. We are around the Bacow area. And, you know, it's a good vibe in terms of it's fun and it's still worth coming out to see. But it wasn't just like, oh, excuse me, yeah, sorry, oh, can't get a seat, sorry, I have to come back and all that kind of stuff. So please, be, you know, be patient. The other side of the coin is I went down to Soy 7. And I've got to say, I was very surprised how quiet it was. And yet the, the irony of it is there's some fantastic bars here. You know, Nick Dean's got all these bars there. They're great bars. Pop in, go and say hello. You know, Shooter's Bar. He's a really, really good place. Go and say hello to the girls and to John. He's a lovely guy and the girls are great fun. They've got a lovely pool table in there as well. Just be careful if you play Jar. Jar's very good at pool. Um, and then you've got the, the bar complexes further down. But it was just not happening. It really wasn't happening. There was just virtually nobody there, as you've seen. And, and that is disappointing. I've got to say that is disappointing. You know, these bars, they need people to come here. They need the, the footfall to in order to pay the bills and to keep the girls happy, etc. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, in the not too distant future, things will change for the more positive. And you know me, guys, you know, you watch my channel, you know what I'm like. I'm a positive kind of guy. I don't look for the negativity in things. But I've got to say right now, it is noticeably quiet. However, it is getting better. So don't give up. Don't lose faith. Come out and you'll have a good time. Uh, it's all in the good times. I've been there and uh, been checking out some restaurants. I went to the American Bar and Grill which is on Soy Diana. They do fantastic Chinese food. If you want Chinese food, honestly, the aromatic uh, crispy duck in pancakes is just off the radar good. It really, really is. And I highly recommend going in there. They also do a buffet. I think it's on a Monday and a Thursday at 350 baht. They provide 10 separate dishes and food that you can eat all you want. Uh, and I think that's 350 baht. But the aromatic crispy duck, man, it's just like back in England for me. It's fantastic. Really, really good quality food. I have to say, I'm not uh, able to tell you from a first-hand experience on this one, but Ian, Ian went over to the Canadian meat stuff, it's called, uh, which is over in John Tien. And I've never been there, guys, so I, I can't give you first-hand experience. But what Ian did tell me, he said, Trev, honestly, he said, it's really, really good. It's well worth a visit. Uh, they also provide you with... Um, the opportunity to buy the produce as well. So if you want to take it back home, you can do so. Or if you want to sit there and eat, as you you know, the, the food's very, very good quality. And uh, Ian said to me, he said, honestly, he said, it's, it's off the radar, which is a bit of a shame. It's a difficult one to find. I'll, I'll put a location down below for you so you can see where it is. But he said it was 100% well worth a visit. And that in terms of really what's going on at the moment, um, obviously, like I said, we're in the, in the wet season, there are some parties coming up. As, uh, as always, uh, Wednesday uh, in LK Metro. LK Metro has got a good vibe right now. It's got a good vibe. Uh, it's certainly one of the busier areas. Uh, but LK Metro, uh, if you go to Shaggers Far, you've you got uh, Bo's birthday on the 27th. Wednesday, the 27th. And that's at 5 o'clock in the evening. And I have been in LK Metro. As I said to you, there, some of the guys are over. We're going out most evenings. And uh, I'll tell you what I have noticed. Very diverse of my career. Is I'm drinking vodka and soda. Instead of drinking beers. Honestly, virtually zero hangovers. I don't feel lethargic. I don't feel down or anything. Um, I highly recommend if you want to have a night out and change what you're drinking, try. Just have a try of vodka and soda water. I'm, I, 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 I can't see me ever going back to drinking beer again. When I used to drink lots of beer, I'd, I'd wake up, I'd be full and bloated and I'd feel, God, I feel so bad. Well, I wake up with this now, I'm like, right, let's go do my thing, and, and off I go. So anyway, just a, a quick shout out there for vodka soda water instead of trying out gallons of beer. Uh, but if you are in the LK Metro, go in there. It's on Wednesday, as I say, go to Shaggers Bar, which is, if you come from Bacow, go in, turn left around the corner, and it's on the right-hand side. It used to be owned by Adam, good friend of mine, um, but to pop in there, guys, and go and see it. Uh, where are we? Where Angels Play. Of course, you know where I'm going, Dan Soy 6. Uh, I haven't done Soy 6 with that. So I might do that tonight. I might go down there tonight. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, uh, Soy 6, Thursday. Thursday, the 28th of September at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
uh, on the 28th, A's birthday. Go and say hello, happy birthday to A down in Soy Six. I was down there a while back, and I've got to say, guys, it's one guy to 15 girls ratio. It really is off the radar good. So if you are thinking about going out and you're quite confident and comfortable going into bars on your own, uh, I know it sounds daft, but some people aren't. You know, some people don't want really to go there. They're all going to pester me and all the rest of it. Um, I was down there. It was good. It was a good vibe and certainly a busy area. Uh, on the 29th, on the 29th of September at 8 o'clock, uh, go to the Hop House and Cycle Hub. They're having Oktoberfest. And I've got to say, uh, it's over by Lake, uh, Lake Mapacham, uh, so you need to get a bulk taxi. But I remember when I was in the army, we used to do uh, Oktoberfest and Schutzenfest. They were brilliant. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. If you have, drop your comments below. Those two festivals for me were just off. Oh, they were just brilliant. They were such great fun. With the old, uh, what do they call the beer? The Steins in a Stein of beer. And uh, the big long tables and the girls would be wearing their like uh, traditional dresses, their full gowns and everything. And they would like dance along the table and, and they carry all these beers. Man, they got strong arms. But uh, yeah, Oktoberfest at the Hop House and Cycle Hub, which is over on Mapachan Lake. You're going to need a bolt taxi, guys. It is a journey, but it's only about 10 minutes. And uh, if you haven't been around the lake to Mapachan Lake, go over. It's a great area. It's it's developing so quickly and what i will do is like i said i'm going to bring some more different channel uh, different videos to the channel soon um i am going to go over to the lake i am going to do videos around there i've just got to get through this this teething period of like four to six months where i'm in the bar in the buzzing edge uh, and i just want to say a quick shout out to everybody that comes in thank you so so much it's been brilliant the support's been amazing it really has been fantastic we're so busy and i can't thank you enough for that but what i will do is Bear with me. Just let me get through the teething problems and understand the good and the bad of how to run this lounge. I've never done it before, so I'm in in the deep end here. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed, touch with it. It's going very well right now. But I just want to get through all the teething problems, and then I am going to reach out and go do a lot more videos. But anyway, back to the uh, topic of Oktoberfest. Uh, that's over Mapper Channel. Like, go check it out, guys. Honestly, it's brilliant. Now, for all of you guys uh, that are into your AFL uh, one place that will be absolutely rammed to the rafters, uh, they do a fantastic job, is iRovers in LK Metro. Uh, if you go into iRovers to LK Metro, it doesn't matter which end you go into, just walk to the corner point and look in front of you, you will see iRovers. And if you go there on Saturday, uh, 30th, Saturday at 10 o'clock, uh, iRovers are going to have the AFL Grand Final. You won't be able to miss it where they are because it will be absolutely rammed. Uh, they put some pictures up the other day on their Facebook of the semi-final, and there was you know it's standing room only, and they were standing outside in LK Metro because there's a few TVs on the walls outside as well, so you can stand out there, have your drink, and watch what's going on. Um, no disrespect whatsoever to the AFL people, I, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not something that I watch. I don't even understand it. So, but for you guys, I know a lot of you Australian guys love it. You come out here. So if you are uh, wanting to see that, I would highly recommend the AFL Grand Final is in LK Metro in I Rovers. Pop in there. There are some other great sports bars. You've got Witherspoons as well. Witherspoons a bit further up in the Soy of the Cow. Uh, that's a really popular sports bar. They will have it on in there. There are alternative options. So don't worry if you can't get into that particular venue. There are plenty of other choices and opportunities around for you to go and watch it. But yeah, uh, if you're into your AFL, then that's what we've got coming up. Uh, talking of things this week, don't forget today and Friday, uh, we have got our meetups come down to the Buzzing Lounge at 3 o'clock on Monday and 3 o'clock on Friday. Uh, we'll, and uh, Ian will take you off around, show you some different bars and, and you get a chance to meet other guys. Wednesday, in uh, three days, uh, two days time, sorry, Wednesday, uh, we got our pool party. If you haven't been to our pool party, come into the Buzzing Lounge and uh, you'll see all the posters and everything are up on the wall. Come and check it out. It's a fantastic uh, event. We've been doing it for a long time now. It's a really good event. You'll have a, you will definitely have a great time. It's food provided, et cetera, et cetera. But just come and uh, have a look at the posters on the wall. All will be explained. One thing I want to say, guys, is a lot of you people out there, you know a lot of bar owners because you go into their bars and you get to know the owners. Can you please help me? I want to just ask this question. Can you please help me? Because right now it is mind-blowingly frustrating that the lack of information is out there in terms of events and stuff that's going on. I say it week in, week out, guys, if you've got an event, if you've got something that's happening, please let me know and I will share it on here. And, you know, people say to me, Trevor, I can't believe that you shout out other bars instead of talking just about your own bar. 
don't care, guys. I want you to have a good time. I want you to come in and say, right, this is what I've got on, on the agenda. This is what I'm going to be doing. Then go out and have a fantastic holiday. If you come into the buzzing lounge, brilliant. If you don't, then you just go off and do your thing. I don't care. I just want you to have a good time. So please, if you know bar owners, when you go into the bars, please let them know. Say to them, guys, you know, if you have any parties or you know any events, get hold of Trev at the buzzing lounge. And tell him, and, and I'll put my email, 247pate at gmail.com. I'll put my email there and tell them to send me the information so I can share it with you guys. Because at the moment, I'm having to scratch around in Facebook, and that's rubbish. And I'm trying to find stuff that's going on, and there's just not much happening. Well, there is plenty happening, but I don't know about it. So any events, guys, please, if you know about it, drop me an email, 247pate at gmail.com. I will happily and willingly share it with you. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, very quickly, before we, we uh, wrap up, uh, I know you like some of you don't like TikTok. I've had a few people say, oh, Trevor, I don't like TikTok. I get that. I understand you. It's horses for courses and it's your choice. But the TikTok that we are building, I think it's going to be invaluable because what we will do is short 15-second videos of food, of accommodation, restaurants, and tourist of, uh, tourist uh, venues. So if you don't want to watch long-format videos like I'm doing now and you just want to nip in and TikTok and say, right, let's have a look. What's he got? And we've segmented it all. So you've got restaurants, you've got places to visit, you've got bars. All of that stuff will be in there. The nightlife we can't put in TikTok. They don't like it for some reason. However, we have got Instagram and we're putting reels together now. We're going into the bars and we're filming the venue, the bars and the girls, putting it into Instagram for you and showing it there because that's, that's uh, Instagram are okay with that. But TikTok can't for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, the point being, guys, is the link is in the pinned comment. Have a look at the pinned comment for our Instagram and for our TikTok. Come over, jump across, and have a look, guys. It's a simple app. doesn't cost you a single penny, but I'm going to pack it full of information. I've got a dedicated team that are going out there doing these little videos and send them to me, and I'm pulling them up so that you'll be able to great, uh, you know, if you want to stay, I want to stay somewhere, have a look in the hotels. Bang, 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 bang. There you go. Anyway, that's enough about that. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, as always, remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look on Discord. There's over 14,000 members in there now. It's totally free of charge. It's a wealth of information, just like I'm trying to build with TikTok and Instagram. So have a look on Discord. There's a link in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, there is a link to our members area on our website, buzzingpataya.com. Please remember, guys, if you do come over and you support the channel, and you're kind enough to support me, when you go onto the left-hand menu, click that bottom left-hand icon. It will take you to the members area where you can sign up. And you are going to get an email. That email will have the member's website link. It's not the buzzing potato. Don't sign up on there. It's when you join, you're going to get an email. And that's where you register and, and uh, make your account. All right. Thank you very much, Steve, for watching, guys. And as always, please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.